Welcome to the All This Version Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Men's Volleyball Head Coach, All This Versions. And Coach, kind of blanked in here, 12 matches into the season already, 8-4. and four. Three of those four losses are to ranked teams, you know, including Springfield, number two in the country, this past weekend. If I ask you for a report card this year so far through your first 12 matches of the game, you give me a report card so far. <laughs> We're eight four, so we're fifty percent higher. But that the four on me. Anyway, uh, I'd say we're like at a B and you know, playing good. Um, sometimes we play excellent, uh, like against Riviere, who we ranked sixth and won that one. I think we have four losses, but they're all now against ranked teams, right? We lost to New Falls, who are I don't know. Lost to Springfield, uh, lost to Rutgers, who are ranked now in the top 10 in junior. So, you know, we're losing to ranked teams, uh, but we're competing when we're losing. But have we lost it to be a We've lost it to be a so we are always taking sets. So, I'm happy with uh, where we are because we're you know, a fairly young team yet, and you new guys in uh, positions. One of the new guys in a different position, he's not new to the team, but Alex Melbardis. He was the right. setter um, on the roster a couple, you know, for the past two years prior. Yeah. And he's right up there. I think he's second or third on the team in kills. Talk about, yeah. you know, yeah, the Alex, change there. Alex uh, uh, grew. <laughs> came in as a freshman. He's a junior now. But, you know, you turn sideways as a fresh, freshman and you wouldn't see him. You know, he's like a skinny kid. But uh, MC in our, um, our training program has been uh, bulking him up. And, uh, you know, I knew he could hit. I recruited him uh, in California. He was uh, a hitter in high school. So uh, it's just when he came here, we were lacking a setter. So uh, he converted into a setter. But he's hit all along through practices. Uh, so it's not like all of a sudden, you know, learn how to hit a volleyball. They always hit from the 10 foot line and in practice, everybody does. So that drills, you know, they're gross. Yeah. So Alex has really come through. He's in that, what's called the opposite position, opposite the center. And all he has to do is hit and block and serve. So he's, you know, he doesn't have to worry about passing a whole lot. He just should be a killing machine. And he was at our uh, invitational. He played really well in that position. And, um, and he, but he's still growing into it. It's a, it's tough because you get a lot of balls that are out of system. Just throw them to the back row or try to find the opposite. And ask him to put it down against a three-person block. And he's been really hitting some great, great balls, uh, smart shots. Another person I wanted to talk about is, is Tanner Stoker. You know, he had some big expectations. He was filling the role that Landon Shorts left open. Yeah. Um, just talk about his play because he's really kind of delivered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tanner, um, you know, Tanner passes really well and digs really well. Uh, you know, this this kind of I think passing is the critical piece because we have you know a lot of guys that can hit. You know, middles can put the ball away. You know, it's passed well enough. Uh, you can set it to him. So, and his blocking, he just gets some King Kong blocks at times. He jumps really well. And also his serving, he has this like bullet line drive. It's different than the jump serve. So I'm really happy. He didn't play a lot last year. As he said, he was behind playing in shorts, but he stepped up and started. And the matches we've won has been like a difference maker. His attacks coming along. It's really could be a, the best pick hitter uh, on our team. That's just like back row back in the middle. So he jumps so well. And so I'm really I'm proud of him just, just stepping in there and uh, taking over. Yeah, you start conference play this week and you face Widener. Um, I'm sure you're probably not looking ahead or overlooking Widener, but I think the rest of the conference is looking ahead to the following week. You play Arcadia. How has this non-conference schedule of playing all these top teams prepared you for to start conference play now? Yeah, that's it has completely. I think our guys are super confident that they can comp 
compete you know, against anybody. Uh, you know, played really, played, played Springfield really hard. Uh, and you know, New Paltz and those other teams you mentioned that are ranked. Uh, our conference is maybe one of the toughest <laughs> in the nation with, uh, you know, Stevens is right up there in the top five always. And, but we beat Stevens just now. Other than that, I mean, they're, they're right up there. The Messiah beat Arcadia. The Messiah, Messiah is not to be overlooked. No one, no one's to be overlooked, even you know, Widener, Widener and an opener this Saturday at 2 p.m. to come. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to really look past Widener right now. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough. There are 10 teams and we're going to finish in the top five, so I'll take any of those five slots to advance to the playoffs. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck as you begin conference play this weekend, and we'll, we'll see you back here soon. Thanks, Sam. For head coach Aldis Versions, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Aldis Versions Show.